Item number three is the fees and charges, 2016-17 year. This is Ariel King. Afternoon, Ariel. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. So this item uh, allows Council to adopt the fees and charges for 2016-17 and also allows Council to adopt the responses to those submissions that were made on the proposed fees and charges for 2016. As you know there was two sort of two parts to that process. One is the animal management and environmental health fees, <coughs> excuse me, that you discussed uh, at the end of May, and then there's the other fees and charges uh, which you can now consider. Uh, so, is there any comments or questions? Okay. Thanks, Cyril. Well, I move that they be accepted. All that was read is now black, so they appear to be correct to me. Okay, well, so it's uh, been moved. Um, does anyone else want to comment, or do we can I call for a seconder, please? <coughs> seconded by Councillor Harvey. Any other further discussion? Sure, I've just got one, one question. I raised probably six months ago the climbing wall, which we decided in the long term plan to continue with. And at the time, I think Mr. Red indicated because of the bedding in of the new whatever, there was not much information that we could require. I'm wondering whether we could have a full report by the July, which I think will be the August meeting, because we're meeting the first week of August, I think, is that correct? Uh, for that next meeting, so we can actually see how it's tracking to the decisions we made in the long term plan. If that's possible, please. Thank you, Councillor Body. Any other <coughs> questions and queries on that item? Okay, <coughs> it's been moved and seconded. All those in favour, please say aye. Aye. Those against? <coughs> Carried. Item number four, adoption of the annual plan 2016-2017. Uh, Ariel. Uh, as you know, we've been through a process to develop uh, the annual plan for 2016. That included the matters that we uh, consulted on in the consultation document. Uh, we have deliberated on those submissions and you have made some decisions which are now included in the annual plan which you have before you. Uh, so this item allows you to adopt that annual plan and it also allows you to adopt the responses to the submissions which were considered out of scope in terms of the consultation document. <laughs> uh, it also allows you to respond to the submitters who uh, made a submission in regards to the Waitahanui proposal. Uh, so that's the purpose of this item. Okay, thanks, Ariel. Any, <coughs> any questions of Ariel or any comments? Well, Mr. Chairman, there's a couple of things in the annual plan. It's only some words that have been missed out, and there's only four of them or three of them. Page 12. What I noticed as I went through it, if we look at page 12 to start with, it's water schedule, capital expenditure, and it talks about uh, WTP upgrade to meet. It doesn't actually state where it is or bulk meter flows. Uh, well, bulk meter flows not included, but it's actually Acacia Bay. Further in the document, those areas where it actually is happening, such as security of supply, that's hard to be, but it's not mentioned. So we then turn to page 21. Uh, that's very similar. Um, so the optimizations of Acacia Bay monitoring boards can lock like that. And then the last one is. 32. Someone one day might read it. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, no, I can respond to it. Uh, so we, we can amend that to include the locations, uh, and there will also be a minor amendment to those tables to include uh, down the bottom of all of them uh, that that's a total. Um, so one of the things I should point out is that. This document will only look very slightly different when it's published, what it looks like now, um, and that will because will include pictures and things like that. Um, but it won't change um, any of the content, but we will uh, add those locations into the capital expenditure schedules against each group of activities. Well, if we turn to page 32 and it's right at the bottom, um, it, rate, it relates to renewals, but further on in the document that supports services, software, etc. So if those words could also be added. Thank you. 
Councillor Suski. Thank you, uh, Your Worship. Um, I raised this matter informally before, and I'm not sure whether it is the right uh, format or whether we are going to discuss this later on. But I'm just uh, wondering whether what my uh, fellow councillors are thinking about the point on page 29, the fourth bullet point, whether we should leave that in there or whether it should come out at this present point of time. Could you explain your re reasons, uh, Councillor? What, sorry, you explain your reasonings? Well, as, as I said uh, uh, in my emails to you, it's the first time that it appears. Um, there is uh, no provision in our funding impact statement for it, and it hasn't gone out to any consultation documentation whatsoever. So it would. But I know it's a matter that is it's going to crop up later on in our debate. So it may be something for potential. So if you want to, if you want to change it now, is the time because yeah. um, once you adopt the the annual plan, then then it's too late. Um, is is what we spoke about on that email. Um, it's whilst it's in there, the legislation will come in if it is in its current form and, and force things through. But whether it's in here or not, it won't make any difference to that process. So, so we are in your hands in terms of that. No, except that it could be interpreted as our council has discussed the matter rather than being a legislative requirement, which is outside of our control. Through the point, yeah, through, yeah, through the through the, I think you know, Councillor Strauss has a has a point. It's probably more appropriate to be in the next long term plan. I just I support that his his concern on that one. I'd agree with Councillor, and I'd agree with Councillor Bernard as well. Yeah. Sorry, Erin. Uh, so, are you referring to the development of the total catchment document? That's the one you're referring to? Yeah, yeah. So, that was in our long term plan for 16, 17. And, and an expl some information around that. So, there's no funding uh, impact statement. Though. No. It's no problem. That's 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 no problem. Um, could we please have something recorded in the minutes as to the reason why? Because it was in the long term plan, and so now effectively we're removing it through this process. So I just want that recorded so there's a, a reason against that. Okay, so the reason is um, for the financial. There's no funding impact statement. You're going to move that it be adopted now? Uh, well, there's a recommended resolution there. Um, Jim, I'm, I'm wondering whether you give due consideration to standing order 3.9.5 in regards of the chairperson or any member may require a motion expressed in parts to be decided in parts. Now, that's not necessary in parts. Um, there's parts of the annual plan that I wish to support, but there's parts of the annual plan I don't support, and part of it is the rates statement in regards of the remissions for White Tanui Water. So I know it happened during the major event of Land Valley versus Capital Valley, where one member abstained and others voted, but were unhappy with one part of it. It wasn't handled in two parts. I'm not sure, as this isn't broken up more than it is now, it's just the annual plan responses to submissions. Um, otherwise, I'm just going to have to say a blanket no. So effectively, further, <coughs> further clarification, can Mr Green explain to me why, because I've asked this before, we said it couldn't be done, and I think the CEO came back and said yes, it could after the event. So during an annual plan, a long-term plan, you can't take resolutions and parts, but you can to do with any other resolution on at council. So in terms of what happened with the long-term plan last time, was that, uh, sorry, not, I'm thinking, 2012, I think. Um, but even in the 2015 long-term plan, we <coughs> had a, a set of resolutions that 
were adopted in terms of the direction that you wanted to take with that long-term plan and then when we came back to you in June you actually adopted the long-term plan in its entirety and I think you made the call at that stage I'm just trying to remember if you make a call then for it to be divided no no I couldn't remember um so I think that's um and that's if you like what has happened with this annual plan as well we've had that deliberations process where you've uh decided which way you would sit on each resolution that we had at that process, but now you, you need to make a decision as to whether you want to adopt the annual plan. That's entirely <coughs> just On that particular issue, didn't we actually include it would be reviewed in three years' time anyway, yes. the long-term process? The, um, so. Yeah, part of, part of that, yes. So I mean, the bottom line is that we, we do need a resolution saying that the annual plan is adopted so that then we've got something to be able to set the rate on, essentially. So that does need to be a single resolution. The question that comes to the body is you cannot, <coughs> can't cherry pick, basically. Well, the you annual, can't pick parts of the annual plan and support the, not pick the other parts. No, the annual plan needs to be adopted in its no, entirety no, or not. Uh, yeah. <laughs> or not, <laughs> but I prefer that it was. <laughs> I, I okay, just, so sorry, I just through the chair, I note too that the next agenda item, which is when we discuss the rates resolution, there isn't actually a resolution on that item because they are sort of linked together. Or am I just missing? Um, the resolution on that next item, and we'll talk about when we get there, is is everything from page five point one, where it says recommended resolution, all the way through. It's a series of resolutions for that one. So that, oh, it's a that's series. one big long resolution. <laughs> it's probably the longest resolution we've had. It's the longest resolution of the year. Top of 5.1, yeah. Councillor Oh, sorry. Okay, so it's quite... And that's, it's a very long... It's unusual, um, but we need to do... And we'll talk about that when we get to that item, but we have to do that to meet the legislative requirements of setting the rate. So effectively what you're saying, we can do the annual plan, but the fund impact statement has to be part of that resolution. Okay. So I want to... Through you, Mr Chair. Yes. Uh, so as I'm reading uh, council body's question in the rates, uh, surely the adoption of the annual plan, whilst I know it includes the rates, but then item five refers specifically to the rates. So surely he could probably vote against the rate num number five item. But yes vote for the annual plan? Right. Well, unfortunately, I can't do that because I'm opposed to the White Desert Newer Water, which was part of the annual plan. This has got to be adopted in its entirety. Well, then, can I ask a further uh, question of clarification? When we were out in the consultation document into regards of Five Mile Bay, sorry, Five Mile White Desert Newer, and this is very small figures. We said that the annual rate would be four five nine. Now the annual rate has come out at four five six. Now we're also told in documentation that if no one wanted to know extra over that thirty six picked up to go on the scheme, we would be facing in the Kaupo water supply scheme another eight dollars sixty on that target of rates. Now this comes in from the first of July, but it's not shown. Am I missing something? Um, we haven't started the construction yet, so until that point we won't be um, rating people for the additional cost. So someone could decide to come on in the next 12 months if we're that quick in getting it done and not pay? Um, theoretically, yes, but um, I don't think it's uh, likely for that type of swift construction. So therefore, starting. we'll be voting on the water supply for the Taupo scheme at five, whatever it happens to be, five four fifty six. Is that correct? Okay, thank you. Okay, were you going to say something then, Harold? Did you? No, no, that's no, that's all. Thank okay. you. All right. Any other questions or queries? Okay, there's a recommended resolution there that uh, we adopt the annual plan. Do I have a move, please? Yeah, I'll move it. Moved by um, want to comment? Okay. Um, been moved and seconded. It's moved by Councillor Williamson, seconded by Councillor Hickling.
All those in favour, please say aye. 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 Those against? No. No. Okay, so we have <coughs> Councillor Cook uh, Cousins. Could I call for a division, please? A division, please, uh, Mr. Thank CEO. You. Uh, for the uh, resolution, uh, <coughs> Councillor Krasowski. Well, seeing I wasn't here for the deliberations, I think it would be unfair for me to make a call one way or another, and therefore I have to abstain. You're abstaining? Yep. Uh, Councillor Harvey? Four. Four. Yeah. Yes. Four. Cousins? No. Four. Four. No. Resolution is passed. 